Hi everybody, John Paul Kooten here from Kiwi Octor. So uh, the objective today is to look at how we can include existing QVWs or ClickV applications and uh, include them into the scripter repository and then manage the deployment of those uh, existing QVWs. So the point is that we have not uh, created those QVWs uh, utilizing scripter and uh, thus we haven't re-engineered them uh, into Scripter, but we still want to manage the deployment of those QVWs. So what I'll do is I'll go to an existing project. I'll right click on applications and add an existing file. What I'll do is point my directory to where the file is. So we'll do the click the interactive tutorial and we will open and close and then if I now go to my applications then I can see the ClickView interactive tutorial over there. You can see it's not local which means that uh, it's not on my local machine yet so what I need to do now is to check it out. It will open the actual application and it will give you the successful uh, status so I OK that one and then what I want to do now is to check it back in to the repository. And I will get the successful status. So now you can see the interactive tutorial. It's checked into the repository. Uh, we have a, a QVS version and a target version. So what I can do now is right click and deploy it to target. Say so it is a production model, so we'll put it into production. And hit the OK. We'll get the successful uh, status. Hit the OK. And from the bottom here, when I'm on that uh, QVW, I can see now it is in production. It's the deployment version 2, which is the version that I'm working on on my local machine. And I can see that uh, who has deployed it and which date and any comments from which it was deployed. I can also look at the history. So if I, so if I right click and go to show history over here, I can see that it has been uh, deployed. That's the file. It's deployed administrator, so all the historical information about that deployment is available for me as well. So you have the whole history of all your deployments, and uh, what we can do now is go to the production uh, target folder, and from there open the applications, and here you can see uh, QVScript will automatically uh, make it writable so that uh, QVW can be, can be reloaded. So we can go find the target file. And you can see it's put it under production access point and I've included it to my uh, training project. So it'll be under my training project. And from here I can open up that QVW. And there it is. So what we've done is uh, to show how to use existing QVWs that have not been created with uh, QVScripter. Uh, within the QVScripter uh, repository, how to manage the deployment uh, together with your QVScripter applications until such time you have re-engineered those into QVScripter and managed them with your other QVScripter applications. So thank you for your time and uh, look forward to working with you.